Zelda is ruining my life. Howdy folks, Cub here. For those of you who don't know, last year I bought a Wii U and a 3DS because I wanted to play Mario games. Like, that's the reason I bought them. I really wanted to play all the new Nintendo Mario games that I'd missed out on because the only Nintendo systems I've ever owned were either the handhelds, like I, the most recent being a DS. I never owned a 3DS or DSi. I had a lot of Game Boys. I have an NES somewhere, I don't know where. But the GameCube, the N64, the, the Wii, my brother had a Wii, I didn't, the Wii U, I, I, 3DS, I was missing out on those. There's a lot of really great Mario games and I wanted to get them, I wanted to play them. And yeah, I dabbled a little bit in the eShop. I decided to go ahead and get the original Legend of Zelda on the 3DS, just, just for fun, you know, to see what the big deal was. I'd never played a Zelda Zelda game before, and I and I get it. I I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's it's definitely of an older style that as it is old. But I, I had fun with it. But I, I I didn't feel a hankering to play more Zelda games after that. I I just didn't understand the world. Then toward the end of last year, toward the end of 2016. Uh, so with the Switch on the horizon, uh, it was starting to look like really one of the only launch games was going to be Breath of the Wild, and I figured well. Maybe I should just embrace this Zelda thing and see if I, I can get into it so I can at least get that on launch day and, and have fun with it. So when my family started asking what I wanted for Christmas, I said a 3DS Zelda game. And sure enough, my little bro got me the Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. This is the 3D sort of a, a remake of the game. And it's pretty good. I played it very slowly. This was a very slow burn for me. I started on December 25th, Christmas Day, and I ended it exactly a month later on January 25th, and I knew that something had changed in my life. Obviously, I picked up the sequel, Majora's Mask. It's actually pronounced Majora's Mask, but I like to make the J sounds Y, Majora. Sounds cooler that way. So you would think that right there is not enough to ruin a person's life, and you'd be right. These two games alone do not a life-ruining make. However, toward the end of January, while I was still working my way through Ocarina of Time, I went to the local game exchange to see what Zelda titles I could get for a Wii, because my brother gave me his Wii. I modified the Wii. I thought that would be fun. I installed the homebrew uh, channel and, and a USB loader and a bunch of cool different things. I just wanted to see what Zelda games were available for the Wii. I don't know, or I didn't know, what a Twilight Princess was, but I had heard of it, and I'd heard people say it was good, so I went ahead and got that. I sure as heck didn't know what a Skyward Sword was, but it was there and it looked cool, so I bought it too. I was actually going to play this one first, but it turns out the disc was damaged. I had to take it back the next day and get it replaced. So I went ahead and started playing Skyward Sword first and... Oh my gosh! This game is amazing! I have spent over 36 hours in this game, and I'm still not finished. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing or I'm getting lost. Sometimes I'll just get on a loft wing and... Fly around. Just fly around. Whatever. Like, save Zelda. I'll get to it. First, let's go take a trip to the Lumpy Pumpkin. 36 hours of my life. I think I'm pretty close to completing it, but to be honest, I don't want to. I really like this game. I did technically start this after I got a second disc. Like, uh, I went to brought it home, tested it to make sure it worked. This seems like it's going to be just as bad for me as this is. Don't even get me started Majora's Mask. I'm almost through with it. I've almost finished it in a week. I had to slow down and force myself to play it slower. That three-day mechanic, I thought it was going to be really annoying when I started, but no, it turns out it's awesome. And it plays very similar to Ocarina of Time, which I'm okay with because they're both really good. Four Zelda games. Not really enough to ruin a person's life, right? I bought Wind Waker. I had a Wii U. I was like, what do they have on the Wii U? They have a Wind Waker HD remake? Let's get that then. For those of you who are keeping track at home, I'm currently playing through the Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, and Majora's Mask, or Majora's Mask, if you'll allow it. You probably won't. You'll be upset with it. We'll just say Majora's then. I have no... Usually I don't mind harassing nerds on the internet, but for today... We'll... I'll play along with your wishes. We'll call it by its proper name. Playing all three of them at the same time. All of my free time is playing these. It's weird, because they're all at, like, different points in the timeline, too. Like, this is as far back as you can go, right here in Skyward Sword, and that this is the sequel to the, it's the Child Link, and then this is the... Is this, is this the adult? Yeah, this is the Adult Link timeline. So I've got all the different timelines covered there, except for the Fallen Hero, but although I do have a Link Between Worlds, we'll get to that. I haven't started it yet, but I have it now. That's in the Fallen Hero timeline. Also, this game's really cheap. I don't know if, like, Hyrule Warrior Legends is just a terrible game or what, but it was cheap, so I was yeah, I'll buy that too, whatever. The reason I slowed down on Majora's Mask is because I can't play any other 3 d yet. Well, I mean, I could, I guess, play A Link Between Worlds or the Hyrule Warriors, but I wanted to follow this up with um, Phantom Hourglass and then 
Spirit Tracks, because they're both sequels to uh, The Wind Waker. But I can't play these until I'm done with this one, so I had to slow my roll of Majora's Mask. Although now I guess I could just play one of these two after Majora's Mask, so now I can just spend the rest of my life playing Majora's Mask, all my free time. Great. Also, I have Four Swords Adventures. I don't even have a GameCube or friends. My Wii has backwards compatibility, though. Do you know what else I have? The freaking Hyrule Historia. You got to. It's got the official timeline in it. You can't just Google that. I mean, you can. This is better, though. This is physical books right here. This is cool. It's got, like, beautiful artwork in it. And spoilers. I don't want spoilers. I got to play through this stack of games. Hold on. Let me turn all these around so they're all facing the right direction. And then we'll try that again. A stack of games. I can't really remember where I was going with that. So we'll just set the stack of games aside. I had actually thought that I would be able to play through all of these games before Breath of the Wild comes out. But I don't think that that's going to be possible now. So I guess I'll just have to play them all alongside Breath of the Wild. This isn't even all of them. There's others. There's some that I don't have the right systems for because they were released originally on like a Game Boy. I actually have a Game Boy, but they're expensive. These older games are expensive. So I'm hoping I can get them on the eShop on the, on the Switch and play them on the go that way. Like I could get them now on my 3DS, but then I won't be able to transfer them to the Switch because Nintendo's online marketplace totally sucks and won't allow for that unfortunately. But now you know what I've been doing. Now you know why my videos haven't been as consistent as they should be. It's because of this. It's all of that. I'm immersed myself in the world of Zelda immensely. And I love it. I've always been a Mario boy. Like, I think you can like both. Fine, sure. But I've always preferred Mario simply because I'd never played a Zelda game. But now I'm torn. Obviously, I can like both franchises. I can appreciate both franchises. But which is my favorite? I don't think I own this many Mario games. I certainly don't own a book about Mario. What am I to do? I've also got this weird desire to buy all of these. Like, I've already got Twilight Princess for the Wii, but I've got this sort of strange desire to get the HD remake for the Wii U, as well as the version for the GameCube, even though I'm only going to play through one of them. I don't need all three of them, but... I've got this bug that says, No, 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 you got to collect everything. What's happened? What's wrong with me? I don't know. Thank you for watching this, though. Goodbye.